Today's lesson is what does it take to be real on social media? Hi everyone, my name is Roger, and my name is Helen. And today we're going to continue to talk about the effect on mental health that social media has, and what one company or one platform is trying to do about that. Specifically, that platform is referred to as Be Real. We didn't really talk about it too much last time. Last time we spent a lot of time talking about the damage that social media giants are doing to people and what needs to be done. That's right. The last time we saw that social media can make people feel bad about themselves. It can also encourage bullying, and it has a lot of negative effects. So something needs to be done to counter these negative effects. And it seems like there is a new app called Be Real that was started recently that is trying to fix this problem. Indeed. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's program. So let's get to it. Let's introduce our topic now by listening to the first paragraph, and then we'll come back to talk about it. Be real is trying to be the new system that social media desperately needs. Launched in 2019, it exploded in popularity in 2022. At its core, it's just another way to share pictures with friends. But the twisted ads is what's made it so hot. Some people believe that instead of having a core, the moon is actually hollow. 有些人认为月球其实没有核心，是空心的。或是 Lara spent a week researching before she discovered the core of the problem. Lara 发现问题核心前，花了一个礼拜研究。另外，补充含有 core 在内的片语 to the core， 意思是彻头彻尾或是到到地地。我们可以说 Keiko is Japanese to the core。Keiko 是个到地的日本人。或者 Though Eddie has an Asian background, he is an American to the core. He doesn't even speak Mandarin。虽然 Eddie 有亚裔背景，他是个彻头彻尾的美国人，他甚至不会说中文。So let's take a look at what Be Real is. Now, Be Real is trying to be the new system that social media desperately needs. So, in the last lesson, we mentioned that social media needs a new system so that it can be less harmful to users. And Be Real is trying to be this new system that social media needs desperately. So, desperately here is an adverb that simply means very much. So. I desperately need a drink of water because it's so hot outside and I'm thirsty, and that just means I really, really need a drink of water. And here, the writer is saying that social media needs a new system very much, desperately, and Be Real can be that new system. That's right, because we did mention lots of social media websites are causing harm to people's self-esteem, to their self-image, and their well-being. So yes, indeed, a new platform is desperately needed for people who feel bad about themselves. And launched in 2019, it exploded in popularity. In 2022, which is this year, so of course, when something begins operation, when it's introduced, when the company starts operation, we say it launched in a certain time period. In this particular case, Be Real launched or came out in 2019. And then it waited a few years before people knew more about it. But then it got really popular in 2022. It、uh, became popular so fast it was like a bomb exploding. So here we're saying it exploded in popularity in 2022, which means it became popular very, very fast. And remember, we did mention the word popularity, the degree to which someone or something is popular. Right, so you can launch a business, and you can also launch a career. So I could say, for instance, that Jane moved to Hollywood to launch her career as an actress. 
Okay, so moving on to the next sentence here, it says, "At its core, it's just another way to share pictures with friends, but the twist it adds is what's made it so hot." So, at its core, at its foundation, basically, it's just another way to share pictures with friends. That's basically what Instagram is. You're sharing pictures with friends, and Snapchat, I believe, has that function. You can also share pictures with friends on Facebook. So, yeah. Basically, at its core, it's just another way to share pictures with friends. But the twist is what's different about it. A twist means a special way it's approaching social media. Of course, every platform has its own unique way of doing this. But we have a twist here. That means a special condition, and usually it's something you do not expect. It's kind of a surprise. Right. And as for the word core, we usually think of it as the central part of a fruit, like the core of an apple or the core of a pear. But used figuratively, it could also mean the central or most important part of something. So here we're talking about the central or most important part of this app called Be Real. Core. The basic part of something you could、uh, describe a person as being rotten to the core. John seems like a nice guy on the surface, but let me tell you, he's rotten to the core. But in this particular case, we're talking about the basic foundation of Be Real. At its core, it is a way to share pictures, but it does have a twist, and that's what's made it so popular. We'll talk about this some more in the next part. Let's listen. The concept is simple. The app prompts you to take a picture of yourself at a random time of day. You have only two minutes to respond, so there's no time to set up a perfect scene, and there are no beauty filters available. Ideally, you're showing your true self wherever you are. Furthermore, everyone is limited to posting once a day, and no one can see their friends' posts until they have uploaded their own. The next day, all posts disappear, and everything starts over. Random, the newspaper asked a random selection of the public for their thoughts on the recent scandal. 报社询问随机挑出的民众，他们对最近那起丑闻的看法。或是 these seemingly random events appear to be connected. 这些看似随机发生的事件似乎有关联。另外，补充这个字的反义词 systematic。S Y S T E M A T I C systematic, 意思是有条理的或是有步骤的。像是 Mandy is systematic in her organization of social events. Mandy 在筹备社交活动时很有条理。也可以说 We need to be more systematic about the way we process orders at the company. 我们处理公司订单时需要更有系统性。接着我们看到单字 filter。这个字是名词，指滤镜或是过滤器。例如 ，The filter makes the food look so delicious. 这个滤镜让食物看起来非常美味。或是 ，You should buy a filter if you want to drink tap water in Taipei. 如果你要在台北生饮自来水，你应该买一个过滤器。另外，这个字也可以做动词使用，意思是过滤或是滤除。我们可以说。The water in the fish tank is regularly filtered to keep it fresh and clean. 鱼缸里的水会定期过滤，以确保新鲜干净。也可以说 ，When hiking, you should bring a device to filter water and make it drinkable. 当你在健行时，你应该要带可以过滤水、使之能够饮用的设备。So, how does Be Real actually work? Well, the concept is simple. The app prompts you to take a picture of yourself at a random time of day. So, if you have this app on your phone, the app will prompt you, which means it will remind you, it will tell you, or make you want to do something. And that something is to take a picture of yourself at a random time of day. Random here means chosen or happening. 
at a specific time that isn't planned. So you do it without a specific purpose or a specific pattern. You just do it because perhaps in the past you would plan your photos. You would put makeup on or dress up a certain way before you took the photos because you wanted those photos to look really, really good. But this app prompts you to take a photo on the spur of the moment. Perhaps you're not looking your best. Perhaps the background is just your school classroom or your office. At random times of the day when you least expect it, you'll be prompted by this app to take a photo. Now, going back a second to the word prompt, it's not something that only software apps do. A person can also prompt another person to do something. For instance, I remember when I was younger, my parents would always prompt me to say hello or to say good morning. Morning to other adults like my aunts and uncles. They would say, did you say hello to your aunt Lily? And in that way, my mother would be prompting me to say hello to them. Mm -hmm. Or the recent mass shootings have prompted an investigation, you could also say. So again, that's the concept of be real. It prompts you to take a picture at a random time of the day. You have two minutes to respond. It could be any time during the day. It could be when you just got on the bus, when you just finished taking a shower, when you're in the bathroom sitting on the toilet, or even after you've just dolled yourself up and put on your makeup. That could also be a random time of day. And you have only two minutes to respond, so there's no time to set up a perfect scene, and there are no beauty filters available. So those are some of the conditions here. I guess you get a message here and you're supposed to take a picture right now. Oh my goodness, I don't have time to comb my hair and brush my teeth and put on my makeup and wear a nice shirt and stuff like that. I just got to take a picture here within two minutes. And also, there are no beauty filters, which are available, of course, when you're using those photo applications. You can have several filters, which will make your eyes bigger or get rid of all your zits and stuff like that or get rid of all your wrinkles make your face a little wider instead of so thin those would be beauty filters and ideally you're showing your true self wherever you are so indeed you don't have time to prepare most of us of course want to put our best foot forward and uh, we don't really show people the total truth about ourselves we don't show people what we look like when we get up in the morning or after we just got home out of the rain indeed this will kind of be more honest about your self-image. That's right. And furthermore, everyone is limited to posting once a day and no one can see their friends' posts until they have uploaded their own. So that's another twist to be real. We all know that there are some people who like to post many times a day photos of themselves onto social media, but here with Be Real, you can only do that once. And you can only see your friends' posts after you have posted your own photo so that it's more difficult for you to feel bad by seeing other people's photos and comparing yourself to the people in those photos. Interesting concept there. And again, the next day, all posts disappear and everything starts over. So here the phrase to start over means to begin again, to do something all over again. This does happen sometimes if you're trying to explain something to your students and you realize, I just explained that all wrong. I need to do it again. I need to start over from the beginning. Take it from the top. Right. So it seems like Be Real is trying to solve some of the problems that exist in social media with these features that make it more difficult for people to present a heightened image of their lives. It does seem to bring social media back to earth, back to the way people actually live. Interesting concept it is. Let's move on now to the third part of our lesson for today and wrap things up. Be Real solves the problem of glamorizing social media personas and prevents the time-wasting habit of jealously scrolling through other users' too perfect photos and videos. However, its benefits could also be its downfall. If it struggles to keep users engaged, the app may not last. But if Be Real can add new features while sticking to its philosophy, it may be what we need to turn social media around. Stick to 
，意思是坚持、忠于或是固守点点点。像是 ，If you stick to the violin, one day you will be able to play well. 如果你持续练习小提琴的话，有一天你会演奏的很好。或者 ，The people who wrote the script for Harry Potter movies stuck pretty close to the events in the books. 哈利波特电影的编剧群相当忠于原著小说中的情节。另外补充这个片语中的动词 stick, s t i c k, stick, 表示坚持或是粘住。举例来说 ，I've developed the habit of exercising every morning, and I hope that it sticks. 我已经养成每天早晨运动的习惯了，我希望能持续下去。或是 Angela stuck a note on her computer to remind herself to call her sister. Angela 把便条纸贴在她的电脑上，提醒自己要打电话给她姐姐。So so far, be real seems like a really good idea. Be real solves the problem of glamorizing social media personas and prevents the time-wasting habit of jealously scrolling through other users' too perfect photos and videos. So, first of all, be real solves the problem of glamorizing social media personas. To glamorize means to make something or to make somebody seem more attractive than they actually are. So, a lot of magazines. Especially those gossip magazines tend to glamorize the lives of actors and musicians by showing them at fancy parties or going about some expensive shopping spree, buying a lot of expensive clothing. In these ways, these magazines glamorize the lives of celebrities. But social media also glamorizes people. They glamorize. Personas. Now, a persona is not a person. It's that part of the person that the person wants to show the world. So it's not their real selves, but rather the image that they want to create for everybody on the outside. Exactly. So we all have different personas when we're out in the world, when we're in public, but at home we're probably a different kind of person. Again, we always want to show our best side. And indeed, be real does solve the problem of glamorizing social media personas and prevents the time-wasting habit of jealously scrolling through other users' too perfect photos and videos. So, indeed, we're talking about such behavior as being time-wasting. Again, when you're just scrolling your thumb up and down constantly on that screen, looking at the next post, looking at the next post, looking at the next post, etc. And of course, you're very jealous when you look at the Posts of your friends. Gee, I wish I could do that. Gee, I wish I had gone there. Gee, I wish I knew that certain person. Gee, I wish I had that many friends. So yes, you're jealously scrolling through other people's too perfect photos and videos. And again, we're calling this time wasting. It is a waste of time. You have better things to do with your time than. Making your thumb all sore like that. That's right. So be real has these benefits. However, its benefits could also be its downfall. So downfall means you're suddenly not successful anymore. So you were going up, up, up in success and popularity, and then all of a sudden something happens and you immediately go down. You're no longer popular. You're no longer successful. And here in the case of be real, what made it good could also be the reason why it could lose popularity and people could stop using it. Indeed. So I remember the old Yahoo website. It was the place. To go to back in the day, but、uh, of course, it became less popular. And、uh, I often wonder what led to its downfall. Why did it fall? And why did other websites become so popular? So yes, indeed, be real might not be around for a long time because indeed its benefits could be its downfall. It could cause its own destruction if it struggles to keep users engaged. The app may not last, and that's what you want to do if you are a web platform. You want to keep your users engaged. 
engaged. You want them to keep using your website, to keep coming back and using the software, but you might struggle to keep users engaged. And remember, if you struggle, well, you have difficulty doing something. Life itself can be a struggle, but here, struggle is being used as a verb. And yes, this website may struggle to keep people interested. They may lose interest and say, "Ah, that was kind of a fun idea, but I'm bored and I'm going back to regular social media." Right, but if Be Real can add new features while sticking to its philosophy, it may be what we need to turn social media around. So, if Be Real wants to remain popular, wants to keep users engaged, it might have to add new features. But it's important that these new features are not going to go against its philosophy. So, Be Real needs to stick to its philosophy. To stick to something means to do something that you promise to do. Or that you decided to do. In other words, if Be Real starts adding filters or other features that will make it seem like some other apps that glamorize the user, then it's going to go against its philosophy, and that wouldn't be good. Yep, it needs to be true to itself, so it needs to stick to its core philosophy. And indeed, if it does, and if people become engaged with this website, with this platform. Then it might indeed turn social media around, and you won't feel so bad the next time you go online. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Let's turn things now over to our dear Chinese teacher, Hanny. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. I'm Hanny. We're going to look at today's grammar points. 课文第一部分的第二句写道 ，Launched in 2019, it exploded in popularity in 2022. 它，也就是 Be Real， 于二零一九年推出，并在二零二二年大受欢迎。那同学们有没有发现这个句子里面并没有连接词，而且前半句它没有主词，而是用过去分词 launched 开头。这其实就是分词构句的用法。那我们来复习一下分词构句。用对等连接词 and 去连接两个主词相同的子句时，我们可以省略 and， 还有把其中一句的主词省略，然后你再把那一句的动词改分词，可能改成 v i n g 或者是 p p。这时候你就要判断喽，动词是主动就用现在分词 v i n g， 被动的话就用过去分词 p p。像课文句子，它原本可以写作 It was launched。In 2019, and it exploded in popularity in 2022. 我们看到前后子句的主词相同，都是 it 同一个对象。那可以先省略连接词 and， 然后再省略前半句的主词 it。这样你就不会重复讲两次一样的主词了嘛。那么在 it 省略之后呢？后方的 was launched， 它是被动语态，你只要保留过去分词 launched， 那接着就会演变成课文的句子喽。我们再造个例句 ：He stood at the door waiting for his daughter to come home。他站在门边等待女儿回家。那例句里面这个 waiting 就是经由简化而来，我们就不用特别说 He stood at the door。And he waited for his daughter to come home. 不用重复讲两次 he。好，那简化之后，这个句子听起来就会比较简洁了。好，那么接着我们读到课文第三部分有一个句子，他说 ，If it struggles to keep users engaged, the app may not last. 要是它难以维持用户的参与度，这个应用程式可能就无法持续了。句子里面这个 engaged 是形容词来形容参与其中的，或者是可以形容时间是被占用的，是忙于点点点的。好，那么 keep users engaged， 它这边用到的句型是 keep 加受词加受词补语。那这个句型就是表达使点点点保持怎么样。keep 在这边是使处于使维持某个状态，而受词补语呢是用来补充说明受词的状态。你可以用形容词或是。现在分词 v i n g， 过去分词 p p， 或者是介系词片语来当受词补语哦。我们来看两个例句。第一个例句是 ：Doing crossword puzzles can help keep your mind sharp. 
，玩填字游戏可以帮助你让头脑保持灵光。我们这边用 keep your mind sharp， 这个 sharp 是形容词来当受词补语。好，那第二个例句是 the movie kept us on the edge of our seats the whole time。那部电影超刺激的，全程都让我们一直坐立难安。好，那这边则是用介系词片语来当受词补语。我们要补充一下说。On the edge of one's seat， 这个字面意思是在椅子的边缘。那会让人坐在椅子边缘，就表示那个电影啊，或者是表演，它是非常吸引人的，会让人紧张或是兴奋。所以引申的意思就是，可能因为紧张、兴奋或焦虑而坐立难安的意思喽。好，那以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单字吧。Desperately. Susie desperately wanted to go on vacation, but she simply didn't have the money. Launch. The new business was launched last year. Core. After researching for two days, Jenny finally got to the core of the problem. Prompt. I had to prompt Jake to pay me back what he owed me. Random. We picked a random selection of people on the street to answer our survey questions. Filter. My camera app has several filters, including one that makes colors look brighter. Discussion starter starts now. Here's our discussion starter for today. The question is: Can you think of a good way to reduce social media's harmful impacts? I think social media would be less harmful if people just spent more time interacting outdoors. So, if there was more interest in nature and hiking, or you know, doing real life things, then they will probably spend less time on social media. Indeed, and、uh, of course, I think that、uh, social media companies try to get us addicted to our phones. If we realize that's what they're doing to us, and we start in. Interacting with people in the real world, then I think social media won't be so harmful to us, and will be harmed by other things instead. Well, everyone, today's article has come to an end, and I sure hope you enjoyed reading along with us. I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you next time. time.